with friends. Welcome to Crashing with Friends. My name is Kyle Hobbs, your host. This week I'm joined by Jackson Brayman. Hello. Matt Price. Hello, mate. Connor Hobbs. And Kyle Hobbs. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys all doing? Huh. Yeah. Did not complain, man. Yeah. You had a decent week. Short nice. work week. It was a short work week. Yeah, man. Yeah, was it uh, three days? Yeah, three days. All right. Really glad to have you guys here here tonight. Yeah. Having fun on the weekend. <laughs> yep. It's a good time. Saturdays are for the boys. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Heard that. <laughs> Drinking uh-huh. myself some uh, Crown Royal, vanilla Crown Royal. Ah, really good. delicious. Hey, give us a sip for the audio listeners. Oh shit! That was Jackson ASMR. <laughs> subscribe at the bottom. All right, now <laughs> sip it again. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> now, I gotta pace myself, fellas. That's what we want. <laughs> I'm already on my second glass, and I gotta drive home, and I'm not trying to go crazy. <laughs> it's probably gonna be the last glass, and I got like a couple hours to wait. Yeah, yeah. We don't need sick boy. <laughs> not no. tonight. We don't nah. need. W- we don't need DWI boy. No, we no. do not. Maybe no, no, DUI, but man, not W D W I. No, I'm just kidding. None of those. <laughs> we need none of that. None of that. None of that. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Maybe one of these, but not the other. <laughs> My no. humor is just kind of messed up sometimes. <laughs> Like you maybe want that like during like murder charge scales like hey, you you're gonna want to go for manslaughter not murder one. Like, hey. <laughs> 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 On the Crashing with Prince podcast, we talk about law. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jackson Braven. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> what's going on? How you been, man? Uh, not too bad, man. Just uh, I've been binging out Red Dead Redemption Two pretty hardcore. Uh, watched the F one race, and that was like pretty good. Oh, the sprint race. Uh, yeah, the sprint race. Um, today, I, I believe uh, we've also watched a race like sent like a. Oh yeah, the one on Sunday, race. right? Yeah, yeah. And that was a crazy race, bro. Yeah, it was. It was yeah. a good one. Uh, and. Now, dude, I, man, I hear his name, like, hundreds of times, and I know what it is. It's just hard for me to pronounce, like, Joe something. Uh, he's, like... Which team? Ah, uh, man. I forget which team it is. Oh, about the guy that, Zhao Gong Yu, yeah. the Chinese driver? Yeah, like, he ended up, like, flipping yeah, over, like, hardcore. One of the craziest flips I've seen. Yeah, yeah bro, it was wild. Was, like, Check he's it out. definitely lucky with, like... Get like just being able to walk away from that with like nothing, no harm, no foul. Mm hmm. Like <laughs> when it flipped and went towards the, the crowd, man, that was scary at that point. It's like he was already super scary, but then when that happened, it was even more scary. Yeah, man. Like if that uh, car would have flipped against the fence, like with the top, like hitting the fence and not the bottom, like he could have been like destroyed, man. Yeah. Crushed. That halo was protecting him pretty well, though. Yeah. What so it far, seemed the like. halo's been working out pretty good. Mm hmm. I wish IndyCar did something like that, man. I like being able to see the driver, you know. I don't like the windshield, the big yeah. windshield thing. I don't like it. Yeah, it, it reminds me of stock cars. Right, yeah. It's not not really my thing. Not not saying it's not cool, but it's just not really my thing. Yeah, it's like you might as well just be driving, like, actual Ferraris or something like that, you know, just super high-end cars. Right, yeah. But, well, right, go ahead. Oh, let's say where's the race at this week? It's oh, the Austrian man. race. Yeah, it's yeah Austrian race. Interesting. I think Hamilton's in like fourth or fifth, something like that, right? Something um, like that. I can't remember. I just remember Verstappen getting first. Yeah, he led from the beginning and got it. Punk. Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> but um, 
Uh, other than that, uh, watched uh, or got caught up on uh, what's the show? The Boys. Watched the season finale of that, which was freaking great. We'll be talking about that later. But uh, and uh, I'm almost caught up on For All Mankind. I've got one more episode to watch. But yeah, man, so far I'm just loving that show, man. It's oh, so yeah. good. Yeah. Cannot get enough of For All Mankind. It truly is fantastic. Yeah, that's that's pretty much been my week. That and what was that other Apple TV show? That Foundation. That show also great sci fi. Yeah, those I still two gotta shows. Watch that one, but I'm probably gonna watch it just because like I have yet to see anything even like remotely mediocre by Apple TV. Right, yet, they've so. been hitting some bangers, man. They're knocking them out of the park. I still gotta watch Severance. I'm gonna do that pretty soon. Yeah, Severance yeah. is so good. Yeah. Matt, how's your week been, man? Uh, <clears throat> nothing spectacular. Uh, Screw your week. Just how have you been? Man? Oh. <clears throat> how have you been? Oh, that's a good question. How was the week? Uh, how, <laughs> was the <laughs> how was the Matt? Let's, let's go back to the week, <laughs> man. <laughs> let's just go back to the week. I don't want to cover that topic. <laughs> Uh, no, but my week, nothing crazy. I had 4th of July. What was, when was 4th of July? So bad. It was, it was a Monday. like Monday or something. Yeah, yeah. Had yeah. That. Didn't, didn't do anything with fireworks. Just had like smoked ribs and <clears throat> other stuff like that. Smoked squash and potatoes. I can't remember. But, uh, mm. yeah, some good fire stuff. But, uh, no, I don't remember, remember much about this week. Uh, except for also watching the boys finale really enjoyed it so if you haven't watched the boys do that <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, yeah th- this is the episode of spoilers man we're gonna be talking about all this stuff later yeah so. we're gonna go Fair into warning detail yeah, yeah. yeah. spoiler yeah, yeah. alert so connor what about you then how's your week been it was really good um last weekend when we played disc golf I did really good on that course. Today when we played disc golf, did not do so good. A lot of crazy wood shots in the lion course at McClellan. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and say it's no longer a beginner course at all. Like there's no part of it that's beginner. It's all like amateur or above. Especially some of that lion stuff. I didn't even play the longest hole that Kyle and Chris played. I guess yeah. they play like a nine hundred foot one. Well, there is like a whole other course. It's like on the other side of the playground area at McClellan. That's supposed to be like for beginners. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I and didn't that's know supposed that. To be just like from what I heard, just a bunch of easy like tee shots. Okay, I haven't. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Okay, I thought that was part of Lion, but I guess it's not. I don't know. I might be wrong. That's what I, I don't know. That's I, what I, I thought. I, I don't know, I man. Last time I was there, but you're probably right. But yeah, um, had a lot of fun playing today, even though, like I said, it didn't go very well with the boys. That was fun. Um, I got some new tech today, new headphones in this thing called a Stream Deck. So that was cool setting that up. I spent like three or four hours just playing with that. Like my new headphones, they've got this like, it, it was like a USB, but it's uh, it's called like an external sound card or whatever mm-hmm. and like the it's got a like at the end of the headset it's got like a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack that plugs into it into the usb and like i had to like set up all this stuff like you know how it is whenever you switch like audio stuff on a computer yeah. every program you got to go through and like switch all this sh- stuff around so i was doing that i was updating software on stuff and then the stream deck thing it's got all these customizable keys so i was sitting there like just trying to figure out what I could do and then downloading all this extra stuff and just a lot of, a lot of computer stuff today along with laundry and, you know, watching TV. So it was was pretty good. Uh, like everybody else, I watched the boys season finale today and that was pretty good. (laughs) You know, definitely better than every other episode in the season. I would say a lot of cool stuff happened. I feel like a lot of this, <clears throat> most of the episodes in that season were pretty solid. Like, yeah, Hero Gasm was really good. Uh, I really liked the one after that where Soldier Boy is just 
paranoid and he's like S- smoking weed smoking and weed like crazy like, yeah as they're hunting for that mind guy yeah but uh yeah I thought the whole season was pretty good I didn't mean to interrupt you no you're good it's better. yeah I didn't really have much else anyway so yeah what about you Kyle how was your week it was a good week um uh it was just a good week <clears throat> um got your family back yeah, my family's been back for a while. <laughs> oh, they were back last podcast, yeah, right? Yeah, still good though. <laughs> you managed to pay those pirates the ransom. Yeah, <laughs> still have them back. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's been it's been a good week. Uh, nothing nothing crazy happened, uh, which is all you can really ask for, really. Um, celebrated my son's birthday party, so his birthday. Celebrated two two different parties. He's two years old now. It's crazy seeing little kids grow up. Um, but yeah, that's really it. Uh, like I said, when we were playing disc golf earlier today. I think I shot one of my worst rounds that I've ever shot in my whole life. Yeah. I think today was maybe the worst round I think I've ever played. Yeah. If I had to guess. The amount of trees was just insane. Yeah, it's after crazy. a certain point, I stopped, I stopped even getting, keeping count because... I was shooting way higher than I have ever shot. I'm like, this is ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. But that course is awesome. Don't get me wrong. I like it. Yeah. I do like it. I think I prefer the Eagle for sure. I do prefer the Eagle. I am going to play the other one, the uh, Lion course. I'm going to play it again someday, probably just from the Red Tees. Yeah, the Red Blue Tees are a little uh, extreme. But yeah. I had a question for you guys, though. Um, what sense would you could you guys live without? What's like the hearing, smell, taste, all that? Yeah. Uh, I want to see no evil. <laughs> no, no, just like I want. I want to say. You got one out of three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wonder what music would be like if you were blind. You know. Like music yeah, would be the same if you're blind, right? Are you saying you're going to be able to hear it, more yeah, more I mean, bits of it I, that you wouldn't normally? Know. Maybe you would just hear in like a, I don't know, daredevil kind of thing. I don't know. Maybe it'd just be like I don't know. Maybe it just hit you different. Yeah. 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 I don't know. You pick up on hidden messages in the music. I'm trying to think like what a blind mind like would see in his mind, like if he heard music. You know, like, what would he think in his mind? Would he? What is a blind man to are, actually? Are, have? You, are you trying to think if he's gonna have visuals in his mind? Yeah, well, like, well, yeah, the, like, like, does, a blind, like? does a blind man actually have visuals of anything in his head? What does you know? only with music? Or yeah, with the music there, he does. What does the music look like to a blind man? Today's question. That's that's some serious shit right there, man. I don't know. I think bro. it. I think it probably <laughs> looks like, um, like. A, a pool of water, you know, like a, a drop, you know, like the sound waves going out like that, you know, like ripples. I think yeah. that's probably about all that they would see with the music. I think that they would maybe like feel and pick up on like the, the waves of the sound. But I don't think it would make any sort of like, say, like a dolphin appear in their head or anything like that. I don't think that that would happen. But I think that they could probably pick up. On, yeah, I think they'd probably pick up on the waves and shit. But yeah, I, maybe... I don't know, maybe Matt was right. Maybe take a psychedelic and then they do have some sort of mind power, you know? Yeah. And get the music going. I can see that happening, unlocking something. We yeah. Need, we need to have some blind listeners write in and tell us, like, hey, Just man, shut your eyes, this? Jackson. We'll yeah, try this. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's the not music? the same because I've had, I've had a visual experience of, like, seeing stuff, you know? So I know, like, whenever oh, I close you've my eyes got, and dream, you've like, already I, got I dream of the stuff that so, so I visually The person needs to be blind from birth. Yeah. And they need to write into our podcast. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yeah, okay. We'll run some experiments. Yes. You'll get paid. Jackson will pay you. Please blind people. Tell us what it's like <laughs> inside your heads. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds weird. Do, do you see the ripples or do you see something else? Do you feel What's the, the ripples? Questions? Yeah, do you, yeah, they've got to feel it. <laughs> you go to a concert, also, we like, can feel the music, yeah, you know? Yeah, and also, Thanks. whenever you hear, like, Stairway to Heaven, like, it, does it, like, just hit you differently than it hits me? What does heaven look like to a blind man? Does it? 
Well, in heaven, the blind man can see. Everybody knows that. That's true. Yeah. But right. if we got to get back to Kyle's <laughs> there topic. Are no, there are no blind men in heaven. <laughs> but as far as like Kyle's topic goes, ah, oh, man. So what are the senses? Uh, what are all of them? We got taste. Ghosts. Like <laughs> taste, <laughs> smell, uh, hearing. touch, hearing, uh, uh, insight. Insight. I'm sure there's actually probably more than just five. See, I would go without the the whole touch thing, and then I turn into the Bond villain, like from was it Goldeneye or it's one of them. No, it's uh, the world is not enough. The world's not enough. Okay. Well, Jackson, yeah. there, there is only five senses, man, because uh, the, Connor said the sixth sense. And the ghosts, man. Ghosts. They're, they're, I thought the real. sixth sense was love. Or am I thinking of something else? <laughs> nah, dude. That ain't, love ain't real, bro. <laughs> love ain't real. I'm sorry to break it to you. I know. I was going <laughs> to say the sixth sense. <laughs> but ghosts. the intention of love. Ghosts are real. Ghosts are real, Connor. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I don't want to live without ghosts. We lucky if you can sense them. Yes. Sense. You get it, Jack? Which brings yeah. us back to where I was we were. Say, I, was, I was literally about to say, like, man, I'm pretty sure there's more than five. And, like, as I was looking them up, I was like, oh, well, here's a list. It showed five of them, but it showed 19 more underneath it. But as I started going up more into it, it's like proprioception, equilibrioception. So I guess equilibrium, uh, thermoception. Uh, so these are, like, like, subsets of the, of the different um, senses. Is that what's going on? Kind of, sort of, for the most part. Hold on. It's like more defined sense. I guess balance is technically like one of the senses. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> no, where I'm, I'm from. Keep, I'm well, keeping my balance. I love that shit. <laughs> Who's going to be the one that goes without balance? I got vertigo, baby. <laughs> What's balance? <laughs> I was never perfectly balanced. Sorry to disappoint Thanos. Yeah. Oh man, I'm per- I forget the name of the video, but I'm pretty sure it was actually it ended up being fake. But it was it's by today's standards completely not PC at all. But it was called like Breakdance Girl or something like that. But it was this woman that constantly had to jog all the time, and as soon as she stopped jogging, she would just like. Like, Hell yeah. like crazy break dances and she like, it'd, it'd be like a medical affliction like where she couldn't help it oh but gosh. it wasn't like she was trying to break dance it was like Elaine dancing from Seinfeld where it was just like oh uh, <laughs> okay like body spasms and stuff yeah, like, jerking. <laughs> just a seizure so I was gonna say that sounded really cool up until that point where you just said that I was yeah. like this sounds dope yeah but, but, it even, then, happened, but even then you started playing it, every time it happened fake. yeah and it's actually part of the video. Uh, okay. <laughs> it was set up to look like a news video because, like, it would show the girl jogging, coming down the sidewalk, and then all of a sudden the guy comes in the frame with a microphone. And he's like, hey, like, what's it like to have this affliction? Beer over your leg. What do you think, Matt? Of the five real senses. <laughs> real ones, okay. Uh, I'm going to go with sight and do the daredevil thing. Fuck it. I'll become a lawyer. But yeah. yeah, I figured I'd do the daredevil thing. Matt Murdock, Matt Price. You know, it's kind of, it's whatever. It's the same thing. I like that last thing you said earlier. Become a lawyer. That's yeah. That would be an achievement. It's like, dude, I don't need my sight. I'm lawyer now. As long as I, yeah, I, I just want to become a lawyer who is staying sober, you know? Right. There's a lot of lawyers that are on drugs because it's a stressful career and stuff. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Now, do you think without having sight, would you be attracted to a pet like, say, like a bat, something else that can't see but has really good hearing like you? Ooh, like I would learn how to communicate via echolocation. Yeah, learn learn from it. Would you? I've always wanted to be Batman as well. So. <laughs> and like they have... Would actually, you like do real echolocation by just like everywhere you go, just going... Ah! <laughs> I think you need to click. Echoes. You need to like click something that clicks. I would find a way to like use some kind of like app on my phone to start now, and then like I can build devices like Batman does and communicate with the bats that way. So just making awkward sounds, but I would do that definitely at first because that would be funny. Do seals seals have echo location, right? Don't they have something like that? 
Jackson, get that on there. Okay, I'll look it up. <laughs> Honestly, don't know. That's that'd be a weird, crazy thing. All right, let me try to see if I can look it up too. Do seals have echo location? Oh, it's actually been looked up. <laughs> it doesn't act well. Thank you, Google. But what sea snakes? <laughs> <laughs> I typed in sea snakes. Apparently, <laughs> that's been looked up before. Interesting. Deep sea snakes. Man, yeah, don't. sea lions cannot echolocate. That, that you is, said sea lion. I said seal. Seal. Well, all right, you we'll motherfucker. Find, we'll, we'll find out about <laughs> seals too, motherfucker. See, what I'm saying is, I just Googled this, and it says, evidence is given which suggests that harbor seals use some form of echolocation. When visual cues are reduced, these seals make click vocalizations similar to those of animals which are known to echolocate. They are able to find uh, live fish in total darkness, producing clicks while doing so. Oh, well, that's crazy. Oh. Wild. That has so many powers, yeah, you know. The only reason I even thought of that was because it happened on My Hero Academia. Like, one of the fucking heroes was, like, clicking underwater and shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy shit. Shows, man. What? I've learned so much, like, weird stuff from shows. Right. I've been able to answer history questions and stuff like that. Be like, oh, what was the line or the... Like, what was the line that divided the North and the South, like, during the Civil War? And I'll raise my hand and be like, it's the Mason-Dixon line. Where'd that come from? Oh, yeah. Viva la Bam. <laughs> it's the Mason-Dixon line! Or whatever. But That shit just in your head randomly. That's crazy. Yeah. It's just stored in my head. I know what a racist marker border is <laughs> because of Viva la Bam. But, uh... As far as ah uh, man, I, don't know, I would think I would think taste, you know. As far as like which sense I would lose, because if I didn't have taste, I could just eat nothing but straight healthy stuff all the time. You don't have any taste as it is, Jackson. Hate to tell you this. Oh my gosh, Connor. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I like to say I do have a taste. Okay. It's just a taste for the most. Beautiful peach tasting shit of all time. <laughs> <laughs> the map of bottoms. The best peach is the Mackinac peach. Right, Connor? The Mackinac. Is that the the booty peach? That's from Seinfeld. Okay, sorry. I was thinking okay. peaches look okay. like you know. Hey, I can't get them every time. Yeah. No. Um, no. I'm gonna go with taste. Jackson doesn't want to taste. If you can't taste it, that means you can't taste shit either. Which, you can be eating that shit. I could be eating it, but if I'm like... Eat that white dog shit? it myself, and it's healthy, then... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> if you're going with, like, feel or whatever, and pain, like... Because not only are you eliminating pain, you're eliminating, like, all, like, feeling stuff. Right. Sex will be meaningless. But the amount of prize money I will win for being the ultimate fighter <laughs> will be insane. Just gotta learn how to fight. <laughs> Shit. Which I think your I think your actual body would still react to being punched so hard to where you could get knocked out. You think I'm gonna fight above my weight class though? I'll be fighting in my weight class. That has nothing to do with it. You still get knocked out. Yeah, that's what you think. I ain't gonna <laughs> feel no pain. <laughs> He's built different. Yeah, man. <laughs> Have you not seen that 007 movie, man? Don't you know what's possible? <laughs> I know that it's possible. I said, do I you know, know, do you not know what's possible? Do I know that w what's possible? Anything is possible. Anything <laughs> 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 is possible. <laughs> <laughs> Kids. <laughs> All right. How about you, Kyle? What's your? What you no more sense. <laughs> Tell us the sense. <laughs> um, I would go with smell. Smell. Yeah, I've had so many moments in my life where I just uh, gag because I've smelled something so disgusting. 
Um, a lot of your taste is connected to your smell, though, which is kind of weird. I understand that, yeah. yeah. Hmm. But, you know, I, I know it's a short part of my life, but smelling poopy diapers is something incredible. <laughs> it's, next, it's next level, dude. Yeah. It's awful. Yeah. <laughs> Incredibly bad. Yeah. Do you uh, have, like, a clothespin for your nose when you have to do it? No, I just go in there and pretty much act like I'm having to save someone's life on the on the moon, you know? Hold my breath. Yeah? Yeah. You get a clothespin or something and block, like, close <laughs> your nose. An actual clothespin. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you think I'm joking? I'm not joking. Just, yeah. Yeah, I probably could do something like that. You're right. Whenever I th- Simple solutions, man. They're the best. I think of stuff like that, I always feel like, man, the nose is actually like supposed to be a filter or whatever. It filters in shit. Like that's why when you're, I don't know. That's why one of the reasons why you breathe through your nose most of the time. But your mouth doesn't have that. So if you're just like breathing through your mouth, you're basically just inhaling unfiltered poop. <laughs> but you're not smelling it. Fun fact. <laughs> I'm not smelling it. Yes, I'm, but. So, okay, now we evolve it, put on a mask after the clothespin, or mask and then clothespin, either way. You're not breathing in the poop, you're not smelling the poop, you're in control of the situation. I think Connor's got the right idea, Kyle. Next time you got to change a diaper, clothespin and mask. Yeah. Maybe some Febreze, too. (laughs) Yeah, a lot of Febreze. Fight the odor. Okay. I think I'll do that. I'll just Febreze... All of myself <laughs> and Cohen. And we're good. One hand for breeze can, other hand poopy diaper. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and then once it's done, freaking just like half a can of Axe body spray. <laughs> <laughs> also, his son has like a gold chain. <laughs> <laughs> Wearing a Monster Energy shirt. <laughs> like a 45 by him. Yeah. No, it's not a Monster Energy. One of those uh, famous tees with the big old F. Remember those back in the day? Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I mean, okay. Pretty good. Yeah. Okay. I like it. I like where that went. Yeah. Now, if you could build yourself a suit of armor, what would it look like? Suit? Oh man, it would it would be Metroid Prime era. I don't know. It'd be like futuristic, like it'd be futuristic looking armor, like Halo Spartan kind of mixed in with like Metroid. That'd be cool. I wish I had that kind of tech. That'd be really cool. Would you? So you guys wouldn't build like a cool like samurai suit of armor. Like when we're saying a suit of armor, how big can we get? Can we get like, you know, big mech? You me? <laughs> <laughs> we're always trying to get in the mech. <laughs> like Gundam, whatever, whatever kind of armor you want. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if that's the case, bro, fucking Iron Man suit. Damn, Damn. I was gonna say Iron Man. I want that nanotech, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I want that nanotech Iron Man suit. Very cool. Every day wearing nanotech. I would wear it every day. Every day. Every time I think it's hard to say no to nanotech, man. (laughs) Every time I think of a nanotech, though, the first time I saw it in a movie as a kid was freaking Agent Cody Banks. So I always, every time I hear nanotech, I just think of freaking. Frankie Munez and Agent Cody Banks snowboarding down like a freaking mountain. And that's a bad thing? No, it's not okay. a bad thing. Okay. He also had like these goggles that like it allow you to look through your clothes and he looked at the hot chick. Hell yeah. <laughs> Nanotech. How about this? Nanotech armor. <laughs> Nanotech armor. I would like some type of suit of armor. That would enable me to transform my body from standing form. To vehicle form. Hell yeah. Well, that's I'll just bullshit, Kyle. That's, <laughs> that's turning yourself into a cyborg. I think they got those costumes at, like, spirit Halloween stores and stuff. <laughs> so you want to be a transformer? Is that pretty much how it is? Uh, sure, yes. It always comes back to you wanting robot legs. <laughs> <laughs> you could be a transformer. Yeah. But really, I want a Gundam suit. Yeah, I got a yeah. suit. Would be nice. Which one would be the best? Which I mean, one would you get? Um, shining fingers. What's that one, Connor? Oh, that's the burning. It's Gundam. the shining Gundam, and then the upgraded one is the burning Gundam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah, those are both really cool. Um, 
the one from Double O, the it's like orange. It's got the uh, it can transform into the jet. It's really good. Oh shit! I would probably take the wing gunums, the zero wing gunum. Is that the better one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Man, the, I know nothing about Gundam, so I, I couldn't even tell you. I don't know which one, which Gundam I'd be. <laughs> say you want to be the Death Scythe Gundam. I'll be the Death Scythe Gundam. Okay. I don't know what that is, but it's pretty cool. Hell's yeah. It's a pretty cool <laughs> Gundam. Yeah. Also, I mean, it's got a kick-ass sounding name, but also uh, I wouldn't mind being a combination of. The Green Ranger and the White Ranger, Tommy. Uh, I like my suits to be combined, please. And look like Lord Dracon. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? No. Lord Dracon is from the comic books. It's like an alternate version of the Power Rangers. Hmm. And there's like an other dimension, and Lord Dracon is basically Tommy, and he's pretty much the, the king of everything. He's killing everybody. And- Oh, that sounds crazy. It's pretty awesome, actually. What, what like, real-life historical armor would you want to wear? Definitely, like, um, a Shogun armor. That'd be really cool. Some kind of samurai armor? Yeah. What about you? Uh, I... Uh, okay. So that's the death dude. All right. Yeah. Cool. That's cool looking Gundam. All right, back on track. Uh, as far as like, ah oh man, I would definitely want to get like a medieval styles like set. I don't know. What, I don't know exactly. I could, I'm not super familiar with like all the different like names of the different armor and stuff. But I would definitely want something that looked like super slick looking. Definitely Black Knight. I would want to have a black ebony style armor. Cool. I respect that. I just think it takes so long to put on those suits of armor. That would be my biggest downside of putting on one of those big metal suits of armor. That's why you get a squire. That's true. Get a squire do it for you. That's true. A little bitch boy to put on your shoulder pads. Then you can just like abuse him and insult him as he's doing it. Because that's what... Squires are there for. It's true. <laughs> Go clean up the barn. Get this shit out of there. You're slow, boy. <laughs> You'll never change your stars. <laughs> uh, yeah. You guys, what would be uh, the armor, realistic historical armor you would choose from? Stormtrooper's armor. That's a realistic. Yeah. Top wise. Yeah. Yeah. I just can't think of any like old fashioned armors, you know? Yeah. So. I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, pretty much you got so far, we got the samurai and uh, stormtrooper. Like medieval. But. Yeah, that's true. Outside of like those armor sets, what else is there? <laughs> <laughs> not a whole lot, man. <laughs> not a whole lot. Uh, Europe had one thing, and then yeah, that was pretty much it. Uh, I would have to go with a dragoon armor set. Dragoon armor set? Yes. A dragoon armor set? A dragoon armor set. <laughs> From Final Fantasy. From Final Fantasy. Okay. <laughs> okay. I asked for a realistic historical. <laughs> There's not much tech. <laughs> That's true. I mean, you want me to come up with something unique. Oh. The gladiator ar- armor. I guess the Spartan armor. Or just my abs. Yep. <laughs> Viking armor. Ooh, that's a good one. I like the Viking helmets. Future Kyle here. For the next 27 minutes, we're going to spoil a whole bunch of TV shows. Future Kyle out. All right. So, one of the main topics of this week is uh, spoilers for some of the TV shows that we've been watching that we haven't really been able to fully spoil yet and talk about. So, uh, I'm going to avoid talking about Severance just because, Connor, I know it's on your watch list and it's 
the spoiler in that is such a crazy one. I don't want to give it away. And we're, but, I don't know. Do you guys think that maybe we should hold off on the boys since it's so fresh or? Well, no, well, I mean, if we just put a spoiler warning and say hey, you can skip 20 minutes in the future. Yeah, I'm not going to yeah. spoil stuff for you guys. The ones that are in this group, but the stuff that we have watched, we are going to be spoiling. Spoiling it. Yeah. Spoiled. Yeah. All right. College Who cheese. wants to go first mm-hmm. with the show? They want to talk about a show real bad? Let's go ahead and just talk about the boys. That's all fresh. I mean. <sighs> this is your warning. You have five seconds to turn this episode off <laughs> and look of spoilers Kyle will chime in with a alright it's 720 right now well you should you should just say <laughs> after the fact how long it is okay that way we don't have to hit a time you know what I'm saying Kyle's chime in now <laughs> go for it okay let's just talk about Ozark first how's that sound Okay, yeah. Oh, wait. No, you guys said you want to talk about the boys, right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the boys. Yeah. So. Yeah. What do you want to say about it? Well, what the hell is going on with Homelander's son, bro? He like it. <laughs> yeah. He's pulling a, uh, what was that one movie? Burn, was it Burn by? I can't remember. Uh, it was the Brightburn. Brightburn. Yeah, Brightburn. You were close. Yeah. <laughs> Have you guys seen Brightburn? Yes, no, I haven't. It's yeah. freaking awesome. Is it really good? Is it like way better than Chronicle? Because I thought uh, I'd put it on. I'd put it like kind of like close to the same level. Yeah, you know? like both of them the- not like outstanding movies, but they're worth the watch. Yeah, yeah, like a five or a six. Yeah, I'd give it a six. Yeah, a good five out of seven. <laughs> I feel like a six is like worth the watch, but like you know, you you don't really care to revisit. But right, yeah, yeah. I feel you. Yeah. But yeah, I felt like uh, Ryan was definitely going to be. He definitely looks like something like that. Like he's going to turn evil. I hope. I think it would be a cool twist. Yeah. I think it's crazy that all those people in the crowd after uh, Homelander blasted that dude's head off. They're all just like, yeah, we're, we're <laughs> down for this. <laughs> just, oh, it's, because it was one of them that were shot. It wasn't their group that was shot. It was the other true. group. Right. If one of their group got shot, maybe it would have been different, but that's not how it went down. And yeah. it's like <clears throat> Homelander like, is starting to notice that they really do love him for being himself, you know? Which is a psychopath. <laughs> so they're just like, yeah, yeah, let's go to the next level. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, what did you guys, do you guys think, uh, again, this is spoilers, uh, of Black Noir, do you guys think he's dead? Um, yeah, I think he's dead. I would have to say he's probably dead, yeah. He's bleeding out pretty heavily his just, intestines were pulled out of his stomach bro yeah I just I just think it's like uh, there's just like it's some signs that point that he could still be alive like uh, how they had the news broadcast about brave Maeve you know talking about Maeve sacrificing herself uh, fighting soldier boy but they didn't have anything about black noir so I'm wondering if he may have cut away Stan Edgar could have him like up his sleeve somewhere you never True. know yeah back pocket black noir yeah yeah, yeah. I'm or they to... just probably freaking buried it, you know? Yeah. Because Homelander pretty much runs Vault now, and he's the one that did it, so he's probably just like, well, we can go ahead and uh, sweep this under the rug some way. Mm-hmm. It's crazy that Soldier Boy didn't die either. He's locked away. Yeah. He might come back into play at some point. You never he basically know. basically did the thing like, we're going to... He's being handled by top men. <laughs> yeah. Top, top men. <laughs> yeah, I think that's all they're going to do with him. I don't think he'd show back up on the show. I don't know. I can see him coming back. I can see him coming back in some kind of aspect. Mm. Yeah. Pretty cool seeing Starlight join the boys, you know? Yeah. She's burning her costume and all that. <laughs> saying, screw that. 
Moving on. Screw that life. Yeah. Start a new one. Very one cool. Honor and respect. <laughs> There's a critical point where Huey thought about taking the temporary V, but then he's like, no, I'm going to support my girlfriend. Give her light. Came, yeah. came in with the assist. Mm-hmm. Power up. <laughs> Learned his lesson. Yeah. Good stuff. I also love that uh, Queen Maeve held her own against like Homelander and stuff. And then she like, I felt like there was like a moment whenever she was looking at Starlight, I felt like it was the Avengers Endgame moment where Doctor Strange and Tony Stark are looking at each other and he does like the one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I felt like it was kind of like that. Yeah. My, so my only complaint about it was, uh, I just like Bray or Queen May's sacrifice. Like, I just kind of felt like it was pointless if she survived it, you know? I mean, yeah, she lost her powers, but, but yeah, and like the rest of the world, they kind of made it seem like she did sacrifice herself. Like, they definitely did that, but I don't know. I just kind of felt like the sacrifice, uh, to us, what would you say, like, was in vain or something like that? But I mean, like that. She had the sacrifice and the happy ending, more yeah. or less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is, I don't know. I just kind of feel like that's something strange in that show. But I don't know. I think they can make it work. She did lose an eye, and she got her ass kicked too. You know, <laughs> yeah, she looked yeah. pretty beat up at the end of that. Yeah, so. I'm sure she probably has like really bad like scarring and stuff like that from the fight. Yeah, or the explosion. Yeah. Anything <sighs> else pop for you guys? No. I just want to know what they're going to do with uh, Frenchie's girlfriend. What's that? that? Kimiko. Kimiko, yeah. Kimiko. She's just been kind of a a character that goes off her once in a while. What's her end game? You know, I want to see what's going on with her. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I thought she was going to start talking. I don't know. But, <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Yeah, there was kind of like... I don't know why they even did that when there was like... There wasn't really much... Anything to do with that? Like, I don't know. You think before it's all said and done, Butcher gets uh, more V or uh, like the major injection and turns into a superhero full time? Or it's really I don't hard know, to say. man. Yeah, you never yeah. know. He could. I've never read the comics, so I don't. Ha- I have no idea how they go. So me too. Yeah. From what I've heard, they've already taken several liberties from the comics. I've heard the comics are worse than the show now. Oh yeah. Like, I've heard, like, uh, yeah, like, don't read the... Con- like, this is, like, the one, like, show that is, like, better than the source material, yeah. apparently. Like, I've heard that, really? like, from, like, the show, like, we definitely get... Like, the show is definitely a way watered-down um, Homelander. Like, Homelander. Yeah, there's, like, a lot of gore and just violence in the comic books. Interesting. Like, it's almost... I guess they almost, like... Uh, focus more on just like making it brutal than like the story making sense uh, that's what I've heard mm. huh. I've never personally read them though also liked how uh, A-Train is finally having some sort of you know redemption I guess is what you could try to call it but I also like how it's not going to come easy for him like his brother is like all pissed off at him at this point Right. Doesn't want anything to do with them. Yeah, his brother's definitely still like going through the shock of everything. I feel like. Mm-hmm. But if, I mean, if you're a train, it's like he kind of thought he was just gonna die anyway. He's yeah. like, well, we'll both die at this point, you know. Especially after what happened to your brother, it's like I can understand that emotion, you know. So yeah. a lot of guilt. <clears throat> but then, yeah, he's definitely feeling remorse now. So we'll see if that continues. You kind of thought that was going to happen with the deep, and then what happened to the deep? Yeah, yeah he's going to be like, I think Homelander's new right hand man, maybe like his new black noir. Right. We'll see though. That like portrait of him, those two together, at, <laughs> like last that you see of him. Yeah, it's it's disturbing. Yeah, I can definitely see A Train getting like the Jamie Lannister. Like treatment where like he starts off as like I thought you the hate same him. thing. Like you hate him at the beginning of the show, but like as you as the show progresses, like he's gonna turn into a character that you fucking love. Right. Yeah. Like I could see at the very end him doing something really heroic for a change, you know. Yeah. He's gonna do something that's meaningful. I could seize it. I right. seize it. He's a good actor too. Yeah. Like yeah, he's pretty good. 
What's the next show you guys want to spoil? Let's go ahead and talk about Ozark. Okay. Were, yeah. were you guys disappointed with the ending like I was? I was disappointed with a lot of things about Ozark, yes. I was not disappointed with the ending. Mm. I thought the whole show was fantastic. I... I thought it was good up until like it, it was just I was expecting something way crazier for the ending, you know. I was expecting that during that whole uh, what was what, what they call it the gala or whatever they call it. I'm not sure what they call that type thing. But uh, when they're at their casino at yeah. the end, yeah. Well, whenever that whole like event is going on, I was really hoping that it would just turn into a huge slaughter. Like, right. Yeah. I was hoping the cartel would just be like in random places, like throughout the place, ready to just like, all right, kill everybody that's at the event. And you would see everybody dying, including the kids. You would see the kids like die in crazy fashion. And it would be like left with like Marty bird and his wife. And you would see his wife get offed, like, right in front of Marty Bird. And then, like, Marty Bird would, like, basically kind of be, like, in the exact same scenario with just, like, a gun in his face like he was in the first episode. That's what I was hoping for. I mean, that's not what I wanted. You know, I was, like, I mean, I just, I was, like, I was hoping for something gnarly like that. But instead, Ruth gets killed. And she just, like... Just gets shot in the chest, like, no crazy, like, nothing, like, epic about the way she died or anything like that. Yeah, goes out like a punk. Yeah. And also the the very final scene where that one dude, like, comes to the house and then the, I forget the son's name. Yeah. But he just, like, eh, shotgun. Blast kid, that dude. Yeah, blast yeah. him. And then that's the end of the show? <laughs> <laughs> See, I wasn't I wasn't upset with that scene. I'm like, that final scene, I'm like, I kind of like that part specifically. It's just a, it was a weird send-off. I didn't yeah. like the send-off for the show because it felt like... They went out with a bang, Jackson. A, they literally went out with a bang. I felt like there should be another season or two after that season. That's how it feels to me. Yeah. It it did not wrap a bow on it like I wanted it to. All right. Exactly. For me, everything that happened with Wyatt and that old lady, that was just like gross, okay? It was <laughs> it was disturbing, it was sick. And then how they set it up to where Wyatt has all these like aspirations for the future. He wants to be better, he wants to go to college. No, I'm going to fuck this old lady, and then I'm just going to get shot in the head. You know, like, that's your character arc for this guy. This character that we're supposed to love, This you're just going to do this to him. Okay, whatever. <laughs> fuck you. Like, you had me invested in this kid. I thought he was going to go to college, make something of himself. <laughs> nope. He gets blasted. Yeah, and then so the best character in the show, the, the co-protagonist, Ruth, goes out like a punk. And then Wendy doesn't get any punishment at all. I love Wendy. She no, didn't need to die. she gets no comeuppance. <laughs> she should have at least lost an eye, like Queen Maeve. Like something should have happened. She shouldn't have gotten out of all that scot free, <laughs> especially with like what she did, like with against Marty at the beginning with the the affair, yeah. and then all the stuff that she does throughout the show. I mean, she was the evil one, right? right. And I love her for that. See, I, I thought the ending of the show was great, and I thought the whole show was great because they kept saying to each other, Marty and Wendy, they kept saying the whole time, we're so close to getting out of this. And he would say that, she would say that, but then she would get them into more shit. Every time, yeah. Every time. And then I, I just like that the way that it ended with you know him and the shotgun about to shoot him and that whole episode with the, you know with that boat when, when they're having the party and everything I thought it was all I thought it all ended great because it just showed like no matter what they're gonna be they're gonna keep being in the shit this, it's not gonna stop you know yeah yeah they're definitely in for life is what it seemed like at that exactly. point yeah. they're gonna eventually probably be the head of the cartel and like it yeah yeah 
I love I loved Ozark, man. They had like senators and stuff in their pocket. They mm-hmm. had a lot of power. Yeah. yeah. The thing is, if you would have told me that there was going to be a guaranteed season coming up after this last one, then I absolutely would have been like, dude, that was a great season. I like the ending to that season, knowing that there's going to be more to come. Like, because I want to see what happens after that. But it just, to me, it just kind of leaves on a cliffhanger somewhat. It, like, it ties a knot on some things, but it doesn't wrap a bow on, like, it just, I don't know. It just, I don't know. I just feel like it's becoming, like, part of, like, this thing where it's like, man, all these great shows that don't have good endings, man. That's how it's always been, though, man. True. There's been a lot of fantastic shows that have horrible, horrible endings. When I always think of Dexter, I never watched the show, but I remember people always talking about it. They always get me to try to watch it. And then eventually when the finale came out, I heard so much disappointment from so many people. Same Pretty sad. Game of Thrones. Oh my that God. That was a big one right there. Oh Jesus. Yeah. That was a <laughs> slap in the face, that show. Yeah. Well, when the House of Dragons, that's like pretty soon ain't it next month i think so the thing yeah. was the like thing is like i had like i had so much like dislike for that last season that i don't care at all for game of thrones to the point where i don't care about this new show coming out oh, or yeah. it, the new Jon snow show that they're talking about doing mm-hmm. i've got zero desire to watch any of it now Huh. You gotta uh, give it a shot, though. Yeah, I mean, it's on the field of void, I guess. Yeah, uh, quality yeah. TV, though. Give it a shot. HBO. You know? Yeah, I mean, I probably will give it a shot because I mean, I kind of had the same thought about Mandalorian whenever you know the new trilogy movies came out. And mm-hmm. I was just like, and man, you, and you cried season two finale. Oh God, I cried so hard <sighs> yeah. in the season two finale. Look, dude, I don't want to hear it. Um. A show that you guys need to watch, for one, Battlestar Galactica. But I'll get off that. The second one is uh, is the Watchmen on HBO. The Watchmen. Oh yeah, really oh. good. A single season. It's one season. It is so fantastic. It's it book it it. It's a continuation of the of the, the comic movie. book. Is it like a continuation of the movie too? The it's movie a continuation of the movie up until the ending. The ending yeah. is completely different than the book. Hmm. Like the ending of the book, I don't want to really ruin it, but the ending of the this, book. This is all spoilers. Yeah, go ahead and spoil it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, the ending of the book has this big, like, I don't know, bomb go off, and it, like a whole bunch of portals open up, and like squids fall out of the sky, and pretty much kill tons and tons and tons of people. Like all these little squids and crap. It's really weird. Like giant squids and stuff. And it's supposed to unite the world against a theoretical alien invasion. Whereas in the movie, it's just a bomb huh. that goes off and then the world unites off of something. I don't know. But the TV show continues off the book. So that all that squid stuff really happened. And so it's not just the, the bomb. Yeah, it's and it's got it's got all the characters you want. And it's it's really awesome. Yeah, very cool. Um, Mr. Manhattan, he's in it. It's crazy. You get to see some giant blue penis. That's what you want. You know? Favorite. Yeah. <laughs> some Master Chief penis in Halo. Some Dr. Manhattan penis in Watch. But it has a, <laughs> it's a really good story. You know, Jeremy Irons, he's such a good actor. And he's got some scenes that are just fantastic, man. Gosh. Oh, yeah. And he's so good in it. I love the movie Watchmen. I recently rewatched it. If you like the movie, watch the TV show. You'll love it. Very good. It's so good. Um, so what's another show you want to spoil? Oh, I say Stranger Things. Yeah, that, I got Obi Wan Kenobi. Okay, that's my number one show. Shit, I haven't watched that yet. But uh, Stranger Things. Yeah. So what do you guys think about that ending? It's okay. <laughs> that's another. Uh, when we were talking about the thing before, with it not tying a bow on it. I watched the ending. I'm like, really? This is how it ends? There's gonna be another season. Yeah. Oh, is there? Yeah. Yeah. yeah there, there, were, there was talks that this was gonna be the final season, but they have like reworked it to where, like, there's gonna be another season after this one. 
I'm not. I think it's going to be there's going to be one more season after. So there's oh, one really? more season left. Pretty sure yeah. they're going to have to go against the Mind Flayer in this next one. Try to I take that down. There's like a, another character in Dungeons and Dragons, the Dragon that uh, Eleven had com- had Will paint. There's like apparently he's like the strongest monster in Dungeons and Dragons, uh, like strong stronger than uh, like Vecna. And uh, so I'm wondering if there's going to be something with that too. I mean, maybe that's what they're going to call that mind player thing is like maybe a dragon class enemy or something. I don't know. Maybe, yeah. Uh, I can't remember. Because huh. the they allude dragon. to it that, yeah. you know. Yeah. Because that was okay. Vecna's master. He made contact with that entity. Well, knowing there's going to be more, that totally makes the ending better for me then. Because it is. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> so they're not going to finish this up? Sweet. <laughs> we just got to think maybe they're going to win maybe they lose like well, cool it's still, Vecna's still out there like what is this is the end <laughs> I was bummed out dude okay that totally makes up for it sweet yeah it was okay though I mean yeah I enjoyed it the, the guitar so, scene was really cool oh the guitar, yeah the guitar scene that scene was sick man Eddie was cool yeah Eddie was cool rest in peace Eddie Chris yeah. say, can you hear me yeah, Chris just, say, I don't like this <laughs> yeah it's like, man, I, I really enjoy Stranger Things, but it's I don't put it up on like the same wavelength as I do these other shows that I don't see anybody else talking about, like For All Mankind and Severance. Outer Range. Like, Outer Range. If you have Amazon Prime, watch Outer Range, but continue. Yeah, I mean, that's all I wanted to say. I was like, I mean, I just... When it comes to those other shows that are on iTunes and... Yeah. Some other like places. It's just I feel like it's just because almost everybody has Netflix for the most part. Netflix was like the first streaming service and so everyone just kinda like sticks with that one because that's the one universal streaming service. Everyone's that got Netflix. So yeah. Using. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, like everyone is like all up in arms about like Stranger Things, but I try to talk to people about Severance or Ted Lasso. And it's just nobody watches those shows. And I'm like, man, right. these shows are so good, but no one is watching them. Nobody has Apple or Paramount. Yeah. You know. I was speaking with Barbara today. I was I was gonna ask her about some Apple TV shows, see if she's watched them and she didn't say she said she didn't have Apple Plus, so Yeah. Everyone that I I finally like drill like t- like that finally like drilled Ted Lasso you're in. drilling people Jackson yeah <laughs> I just keep like yo you gotta watch Ted, La- Ted Lasso bro drill Lasso yeah just but, just get it get it for a month watch all these shows back to back make that month really count and you'll get a lot of good TV you know yeah but so far everyone that I've got to watch that show has like loved it I watched a tad bit of it and I was like I haven't watched all of it of course but I was like man this is pretty good Ted Lasso? Yeah. It hits you in the feels like multiple parts, dude. I just, season one's really good. Season two's okay. I, I love Ted Lasso, yeah. I don't know. I like shows that like I can laugh at, but it also hits me in the feels. Yeah. You know? Jackson wants to cry. <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I, this is just practice. <laughs> <laughs> so what other show you want to spoil? Obi-Wan Kenobi. Okay. Oh, God. Nah. Maybe. <laughs> you didn't watch it? No, not yet. Okay, probably don't spoil it then. All right. I just wanted to say the last episode. <sighs> yeah. I do want to talk about Open with Kenobi because whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> that ain't cool, man. <laughs> whatever. Hey, Jackson, put on these headphones. <laughs> no. The, my only critique on the show, man is I got really over the whole Leia stuff. I was yeah. just like, I don't, I don't need this extra Leia storyline. If uh, this was a movie, half of that Leia, that whole Leia storyline would have been gone. And it would have been mainly about Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader trying to hunt him. Yeah. Well, I yeah. like to see that version. I can, like, I, I can agree, but also disagree because, like, I feel like it was a good way to see why Leia was the way she was in, like, the, uh, you know, the the original trilogy, you know? Yeah. But, yeah, there was, like, a lot of stuff with Leia that, like, it didn't make any sense. Like, the chase scenes. The like, chase yeah, in the woods, yeah. yeah. Those chase scenes were awful, There's especially like, in that first episode. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so awful. 
but I would, yeah, I would have, I wouldn't have mind if, like, if we could take out the Leia bits and add more Obi Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader, I would be all in. <laughs> yeah. Would have liked to see uh, Darth Maul maybe come back too for another fight. Yeah, yeah. robot legs, Darth Maul, that'd be cool. Maybe that'd be the second season. He does. Yeah. He ends up showing up whenever Obi Wan's old, though. It's been Ken- or yeah, old Ben Kenobi. All right, we're done. Yay! <laughs> all right, okay. Any other show you want to spoil? I think I covered all my shows. Yeah. What you, would you think about Star Trek, Connor? What would you think about the whole Star Trek season one, uh, Star Trek Strange New Worlds? I thought it was a great season. You can't get much better than that, I would say. Um, you need a nine or a ten as far as score, you know. I, mm-hmm. I'd say it's a must-watch for this year. High praise. Yeah. It had the, per- it had the, the best mixture of... The week to week format of Star Trek, you know, every new every episode's a new a new adventure you go on, but it also had a going theme throughout the whole season. So, you know, it actually had two different themes, kind of like Doctor Who. Season. Maybe, yeah, uh, like, yeah, just an overarching theme going through the whole season, and when you get to the end, it you know this, yeah, it all makes sense. But like it had a really good arc, I would say. Oh yeah, I loved it. Yeah. All the actors are great. I thought the, just the casting in general was amazing of the show. And then the writing is great. There's like one or two episodes that are kind of like, whatever, they got to save some money. But then mm-hmm. like the finale, there's like a lot of really good CGI and stuff. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'd recommend it for sure. It's a really good first season of a show. I wouldn't want to spoil anything, but no, yeah, definitely worth a watch. Um, yeah. Anybody else got anything you want to spoil? Uh, nothing I can think of off the top of my head. Should we start with, should we do movies now? What do you guys think? That's what you guys want to do? I don't care. Do you have anything else? Not really, no. Okay. Yeah. So now let's move into the next topic. Uh, what's been your guys', it's half the year's already gone. We have six months left. What's been your guys' favorite um, movie so far this year that you've seen? The Batman. Yeah, I was gonna say. That. <laughs> I was gonna put it like above Doctor Strange even. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I hundred percent put the Batman above Doctor Strange. It was just such an amazing experience seeing that in IMAX. Um, it was a little bit long, which was unfortunate at the time, but rewatching it at home when you can pause it and then just kind of do some stuff you, you use the restroom do whatever that's really nice it, it's the point where it's like okay three hours is manageable but at the theaters it's kind of a long time but yeah. aside from that i mean you kind of do need that that run time to tell that long of a story because you got two different stories going on that kind of both talk to each other a little bit and they do a really good job of balancing it out i think you know yeah and I just I just love how they, it's like uh, it's all mostly Batman. Like he's it shows Bruce Wayne like a little bit, like a lot less than most like Batman movies. But uh, yeah, he's like uh, more invested into the uh, Batman thing because it's only been like two years since he started it. So mm-hmm. I always like that. I just thought it was crazy. You really couldn't distinguish who was what. Like if it was Batman or Bruce Wayne. You know, that he was playing the same character in both. Yeah. In the suit and on the street, you know? Right, yeah. A lot of, uh, when it, when he's, like, not in suit, he's also, like, uh, like driving a motorcycle with, like, a helmet on or something, you know? Yeah. So a lot of, like, dark and mysterious stranger. <laughs> uh, I, enjoy, I really enjoyed the Batman. Um, a movie that, I, that I've been championing is a... Uh, Everything, everywhere, all at once. And I thought I think that just hit streaming. I was gonna watch it. Did it? Yeah. It is so worth it, man. I'm telling you guys, there are some wild scenes in that movie that I'm like, I cannot believe I just watched that. Like, that movie is so awesome, man. Um, you get short stack from the old Indiana Jones movies, Data from Goonies. He's in it, but he play. He's an adult now. He, he plays an adult. But no, he's he's an adult now, and he his voice sounds the same. It's weird, man. That's what I heard. He sounds exactly and, like uh, It's it's so good, man. I I can't say anything 
because it'll ruin it. It's like it, it's like a new version of the Matrix. It's wild. Yeah, I think we're all gonna check it out. I'm gonna check it out pretty soon. It is wild. One of my other favorites, aside from the Batman, would have to be uh, Beavis and Butthead do the I was universe. Just about yep. to say it, dude. you stole it from me. <laughs> yeah, it's technically it's mine now because I said it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Beavis and Butthead does the universe was one of the funniest movies that I've seen in a long time. Oh man. It, yeah, it made me want to watch the first movie over again. I loved it so much. And yeah. really, it's they're the same movie, you know, yeah. both of them. They, they, a little bit different, but yeah, mainly a little bit the same. Different, but they're they're doing the same humor, you mm-hmm. know. And it works. It works really well. It does. I've watched that movie like maybe four or five times already. You have. I was it's, gonna rewatch it pretty soon. It's so yeah. funny, man. Yeah. Like the part where, uh, like, she's like. I'm going to put on my spacesuit and go out for one last spacewalk. It's how I've always wanted to go. And she, she's like, watch me through the window. And then be, her butthead's like, Beavis, she wants to watch her, or she wants us to watch her through the window undress. <laughs> <laughs> they put on spacesuits and then like, they give her their, she gives them a like bracelet to like blunt to her grandma. <laughs> They go outside the window and they start going, Ugh. <laughs> and then they put like they lose it and it just goes off into the space. Yeah, <laughs> oh, the yeah. part where they're looking at the sun through the telescope. Oh yeah. my god, yeah, <laughs> so many, good. so many great scenes. Do the docking now. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen it, Matt? No, I haven't. Oh, seen man. It. Uh, it's so it's fucking, so freaking great. Dude. Yeah, it it's out. another like ten out of ten. It, yeah. it's, like, it's a it 10 out of 10 comedy for me it doesn't get much better than that Beavis, yeah. Beavis and Butthead are so legendary yeah if I could if I could just tell Mike Judge like dude give me one of those every 2-3 to three years right and I'm set like just give me one of those man high hopes for the new King of the Hill man oh, after man. watching that I love I King wonder Hill. how legit that is I'm pretty sure it's legit I'm pretty sure yeah well good yeah. man I just, yeah, I saw an I, article I about Hank it. in my life. I need more Hank and Peggy. Yeah. It sucks, it sucks we don't have Luann anymore, but... You could always recast her. There's someone out there. Yeah. Um, any other movies you guys seen this year that you thought was good? I mean, Doctor Strange was still pretty good. Doctor Strange 2, mm-hmm. Multiverse of Madness. I love oh, Sam Raimi. Like, his touch on the whole movie. Like, he made a pretty good movie, in my opinion. Yeah. yeah. I enjoyed it. Um, there was two movies I wanted to talk about. Connor already brought up one of them, Beavis and Butthead. But the other one that I wanted to talk about was The Northman. Yeah. Yeah, The Northman yeah. was yeah. dope. I still need to see that. Yeah. It is really good. It's got a killer, like, sound. A lot of good direction. drum beats. Yeah, a lot of good, like, <laughs> yeah. kind of stuff and I love that L- kind lots of, of bass yeah. like yeah. almost every yeah. voice that talks has just like a very deep vape I don't know it's like reverberating it's, through your body and shit yeah, yeah. your yeah. windows are shattering or <laughs> <laughs> just rattling the whole time but a lot of brutal moments that happen in that show or in that movie too man What's he repeat to himself throughout the whole movie? Um, it's, I will avenge you, father. I will save you, mother. I will kill you, Fjorner. Yeah, and he just repeats it throughout his whole life until he gets to be an adult, and then he, he does it. Yeah, he finally has an opportunity to like go do what like he has like sought to do, so, and then he goes and does it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think Nicole Kidman should get the Oscar or the Academy Award or whatever for. Best actress this year for her character in it. Oh, yeah, man. She flips the script so hard. She three-fourths the way through, and it's just like, what is going on? What is going on now? Like, yeah, without giving anything away. Exactly, like, yeah. She does such a killer job. Nicole Kidman, who knew she could act? This is her first movie? Yes. Okay. Nicole Kidman, <laughs> okay. yeah. R- really unknown. But then again, it is Robert Eggers, and... Like that dude probably would have filmed that scene like 150 times if until like she finally got it right. But I'd imagine she probably didn't have to do it 150 times. It's so awesome! Such a good movie, man. Anybody else got anything? Uh, as far as movies go, nah, not that I could think of. Wasn't a new movie, but The Gentleman. I really enjoyed The Gentleman. Watching that this year. Yeah, I, I still got to watch. Came out that like one. a year or two ago, I think. But yeah, it was it was super good. Locked it. 
But uh, if we're going to be moving into TV shows next... We the, moved out of TV shows. We're in movies. We're going to be moving into video games next. We've done TV shows already? <laughs> <laughs> we can do more TV shows, but yeah, we moved out of TV shows into movies. Okay, well, let's... let's uh, <clears throat> we can go back into TV shows. No, I was just joking it. with you. Well, no, what no. was your favorite TV show of the year? Severance, for sure. So you're going to... Like, if, I, yeah, if we, I had to do three, top three shows for this year... Oh, okay, I get you. Whatever. I thought you were going to try to spoil it. I was going to no, sucker punch you. spoil it, but I was going to say Severance... Um, <clears throat> our flag means death. And so far, I mean, I haven't watched all of it yet, but it's going to be for all mankind. Okay. I can already see it. It's going to be for all mankind. It's been foretold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the boys is pretty good, but I don't know. Those other two shows, I'm just enjoyed a little bit more. So, Yeah. Severance for sure is like ten out of ten. Like, please watch it, please. Yep. Um. I I would say my favorite TV show this year is probably Severance, man. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then for all mankind. Yeah. Again, if a TV show can take a gay male couple and make me go in my head, man, I hope these two fuck. It is a good show, man. <laughs> I'm just saying. It takes a, it takes a lot within a show to make me really think that. And how badly would you say that you wanted to see that on a scale from one to ten? Uh, ten. Ten. I wanted to see it. I wanted to see it happen. I was okay. like, oh, man, I, I really hope. I hope you it. just really want these two people to have a good happy ending, like a good yeah. like, good rest of their life together. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's that, what you but want. you want to see it specifically. You yeah. want to see it happen. I'm, ha- I'm, being, <laughs> I'm being crass with it, but that's what I was, like, Kyle basically said what I was talking about. When, right. I, when I say fuck, I mean... Like have a happy ending together, like get married, like walk up. Oh, like, so that's what you mean? Because you said that you wanted hands. to see them have sex, is what you said. I mean, that's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> what if their happy ending was a porn chronog- p- career, porno career? I would have been like, you know what, man? Good for them. God bless America. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Freedom. <laughs> but you're not free. Okay. But for real though, yeah. Severance, man. Like everybody that's actually taken the time to watch it has been like, Wow, dude, that show was next level. It's it's pretty awesome. What's his name? Um, Adam Scott. Yes. He he deserves an award for his his acting in it, man. God, so good. And Ben Stiller deserves an award for directing in that. Yeah. Yeah. Ben Stiller has a way of making everything just seem so real slash surreal. And puts you really in it. I, I really like the way Ben Stiller does it. Um, so my not favorite show of the year was Halo. <laughs> I oh didn't see one episode of that crap. Yeah, so I think the first episode and the last episode of the season are worth watching. Everything else in between is disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even finish it because I was just like I, I'm I could really care less about this show. Yeah, it was so, like what I was watching. I just felt it was so mediocre that I was just like I'm just gonna watch something else. The fact the so, fact that this is Halo is not making me want to just continue watching it. So there are so many action scenes where the characters instantly take their helmet off. It is crazy. It's like they learn nothing from Reach. Yeah, like yeah, this one, there's this one part where one of the Spartan chicks is uh, getting on one of the pelicans of um, Dr. whatever. Halsey. Halsey. Okay, yeah. She gets on her pelican, immediately takes her helmet off. It's like, you are assaulting this pelican right now. They could have weapons, and you're just going to take your helmet off and start running through it and shit? Like, what here's are you doing? Here's my face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> here's my weak spot. <laughs> like Master Chief will land on a hostile planet or, or a new world or something. He'll land. First thing he does, 
takes his helmet off. Like, the, there could be snipers sitting out there. Like, it, it man. And they, I, I, I don't know how they didn't realize that people want to see Master Chief with his helmet on. <laughs> not yeah. saying very much. Yeah, the helmet, it, it just looks way better than anybody's face. <laughs> yeah, it's sure crazy it to see, like, like man, they had the whole first season of The Mandalorian, like, where you, like, just barely saw that dude's face. Like, if at all, I can't remember, like, very many times where you saw his face in the first season. One time, I believe. Like, That's yeah, maybe end. one time. The finale you did. Yeah. But, yeah, other than that, like... That's that like that's how they should have done that Halo show. It's just like man, he should have just always had the helmet and, on, make him like right, um, make him like a almost like a mythical like legend. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. They <laughs> fucked that show up. <laughs> what else you got, Connor? All right. So for mine, I've got a few shows that I really like this year. Um, Star Trek Strange New Worlds. I yep. gave that a 10 out of 10. Yep. That should be recognized. Top three as well. Yeah. Okay. So we knew that. Then the one that fucking blew my head off because I didn't even know it was coming. Didn't have time to dodge Peacemaker. Holy crap, Oh, my dude. gosh. Yeah. How could I forget Peacemaker? Oh, yeah. That show was good. Yeah. That's probably good. Gosh. Like, it's, it's contention for a top show of the year. Really. It it's really so is. good. Yeah, I, I can't forget about that show. Like I've I've been thinking like of what I want to do for a costume this year for Halloween. Been leaning towards the vigilante uh, vigilante costume from God, that show. The peacemaker helmet would be so fun to make. You just, <laughs> you can seriously just make it out of tin foil. Yeah, you could. <laughs> you know, you could do peacemaker. I'll do vigilante. Oh man, that'd be vigilante. Awesome. <laughs> um, but yeah, peacemaker. If you haven't watched peacemaker, check it out. It's worth. But uh, HBO for a month to watch it. Yeah. It's so worth it. It's got like it's got John Cena in a whole different like, you know. You're looking at him at a whole different lens. You know. And, and every time yeah. I hear, go on. I was gonna say it changed my mind about John Cena. I was not a John Cena fan at all, and then I watched Peacemaker, and now I am a John Cena fan. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It converts you. John That's Cena great. as an actor is a completely different person as John Cena the wrestler. Right. Who would have known? Right. You know what I'm saying? It's just like The Rock. You can do both sides. Yeah. And, and, and Batista. Like, it has one of the best opening songs of any TV show I've ever watched. Yeah. The dance. Right. Yeah. And I like it because at the very end of it, you know, they're doing their dance. Um, they're, they all have a, 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 a movement they do. And then when the song's over, it doesn't pan away from them. It just keeps the camera on them as they're breathing. Like, <laughs> yeah. like they just did like an Olympic Olympic run and they're having to hold their positions, you know, mm. it's just, it's such a great, a great opening to a show. Yeah. Right. It's but going back to uh, my third favorite show, <laughs> our flag means death was my last one. So, yeah, I yeah. need to finish that, man. I really do. I've only got like two or three episodes left. I seen rewatch it with Rachel. I think she'd love it. Yeah. Didn't um, what we do in the shadows just start back up for the third season? Yeah, I think so. It did. So, uh, yeah. I need to check it out. I'm trying to think, I think I still need to watch the second season. That's a good show. It though. was good. I liked it quite a bit. It's a funny show, man. Yeah. <laughs> really funny show. I like when the vampires and the werewolves interact with each other. It's it's always funny. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking forward to whatever that werewolf show is going to be. That it's going to be, it's like the way it's spelled out is W E apostrophe R E wolf werewolf. Yeah, but it's supposed to be the continuation of like what we do in the shadows, like of that other dude that gets turned into a werewolf. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think I would totally watch that. That'd be cool, <laughs> man. It's a great show. All right. Did we all get our top three TV shows out? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Moving into games now? I, I, can't, I can't tell you a top three. I can tell you the one game let's, that I Let's say most, games we played this year. Let's not limit it to games that came out this year. Sounds all good. Right. So I, I would have to say Horizon Forbidden West on PS5. Really, really love that game. Yeah, um, they've re they've released so many updates over the last like month that I'm thinking about going back and replaying it 
just because of all the updates they've done, mm-hmm. or at least going back. Because when you when you beat the game, you be you get the ability to pretty much fly. You, right. You, you get to take over like pterodactyls and fly around pretty much. So and I, there's so many side quests I didn't complete that I just need to go around and do. I think I might just do it. You know, the game is fantastic. Have fun in that world, just flying yeah. around. Yeah. With all the new graphical settings they've changed and stuff. Yeah, that's one of mine. Horizon, so good. Mm -hmm. Definitely an improvement from the first game, I would say. But story-wise, maybe a little bit of a step back. But gameplay-wise, step forward. Yeah. Really good game. I really enjoy uh, the new Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate on PC. Runs like a top. I'm playing that a lot. It's great. So good, dude. Yep. I'm at the part now where there's a lot more Sephiroth stuff. Like, at the very end, it's all Sephiroth stuff. Good. I can't wait to yeah. get to all that. Pretty good. Jackson, Matt? Uh, I'll have to say, the one game that I played that came out in the last six months was probably uh, KOTOR 2, Knights of the Old Republic. On two. Switch? Yeah, it was, on the, it was a remake on the Switch. And... Uh, yeah, it was a uh, like a is a really good remake. Uh, they have like a cheat menu, which I love cheat menus and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, and uh, so like I just like kind of mess with like the classes and stuff. Like I'll give Jedi blasters and I'll give like j- blaster people like lightsabers and stuff, force powers. Uh, it's a pretty fun game. Uh, also, like uh, they have some like uh, unreleased content or I think unfinished content that the modding community uh, kind of finished out and like cashed out and stuff and they're going to release it in the third quarter of this year actually so oh, pretty nice. excited about that I can't remember what it's like what all is included in the hidden content or what uh, what story it is but I'm pretty excited about that hell yeah but yeah it's, uh, that's a pretty good one especially if you like uh you know, the old Star Wars stories before the prequels and stuff. I don't remember how long ago, but it was like, I don't know, I want to say like a thousand years. Yeah, I think it's like a thousand, yeah, something yeah. like that. But, uh, yeah, it's got like, a, <clears throat> the action system is kind of like Dungeons and Dragons, you know, it's like, it's like a roll of dice and stuff, like, of like, uh, missing your attacks and doing criticals and everything. Uh, but yeah, I, I really suggest it if you're like a huge Star Wars fan. Oh, yeah. If you're going to go back to any of those older Star Wars games, the Knights of the Old Republic ones are the ones I'd recommend. Yeah, for sure. the story. The story is so good. Mm-hmm. And then you like you learn about a lot more Sith Lords and everything and just how they used to do things back in the day, like with the like the Jedi Council, how they were, and <clears throat> there's the Sith Lords that were in power around that time. So, yeah, I just highly suggest that. <laughs> Does it make you start with vibroblades in that one? Yeah, yeah, I want to say so. It's yeah, to remember and okay. like the blaster rifle, blaster pistol, maybe depending on the class. I think. Okay. Yeah, for me, like Kyle said, Horizon Forbidden West was one of my favorite games. Then also Elden Ring. Yeah, Elden Ring for me as well. Yeah, I would say maybe my game of the year. It's so good. I wouldn't want to replay it anytime soon because it's so long. <laughs> but it was such a well-made game. I had problems with it, with the frame rate, a little bit instability on my PC with it. But aside from that, like I still played like an 80-hour game with those problems. So it, there was something there, obviously. Right. And then the last game would be Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm replaying Final Fantasy VII Remake right now, too. So shout out to that. But... Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy is so much better than any of the advertising made it look. It suffers from like a really slow start. Chapters 1 and 2 are super slow. But if you can get past that, the fucking game is so great. It's it's like juicy good, you know? <laughs> it's like you're getting you're getting it and you want more, you know. All right, I'll try to binge the I think I'm like close to the end of Red Dead Redemption 2, so once I've binged that, then I will hop on up Guardians of the Galaxy. I'd say if you just want to get a good story, then just crank the combat difficulty down. Like, there's no shame in that. Just because, like, the combat is a little bit on the weaker side. It's not too difficult by any means, but you can make it really easy for yourself if you wanted, you know, and just blast through it. 
It would only take you maybe 10, 15 hours or so. Right on. If you went really easy, that is. Yeah. Nice. All right, you guys ready to move into Yo Dude? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, All right. Yeah. Who wants to start us off? Uh, I'll give me one second to pull it back up. I'll start. Okay. All right. Uh, so let me look. I'm trying to think of how to start this. Uh, basically, the governor uh, in California, Gavin Newsom, announces that they are going to start making their own insulin. So, uh, see, yeah, Governor Gavin Newsom of Sacramento announced Thursday a plan to locate 100 million in state funding to have the state make its own insulin. Basically, half the funding will go towards developing low-cost insulin products, and the other half uh, will be spent on California-based insulin manufacturing facilities. Hell yeah! So yeah, hopefully, hopefully that like. I don't know, affects the cost of insulin uh, across the country, you know, maybe at least the Midwest. So. Right. But, yeah, that's the, like, uplifting yeah, nice. dude that I got. <laughs> that's awesome. That is really cool. My, I have a, you know, a good friend. He's got, he's diabetic, and so I know he, like, struggles with, uh, like, there, it's a struggle with insurance companies and then, like, yeah, it's cost criminal. of insulin. Yeah. Something that you need to survive. Right. They just... That doesn't cost a lot to make, but costs a lot to buy yeah. for some reason. <clears throat> just like iPhones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now you, you just sign off a contract for your life, and then you just get free iPhones. Everybody knows that. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yo, dude, check this out. So, uh, today I learned, uh, this actually happened in 2015. It ain't new by any chance, but, uh... It's uh, new to you. It's new to me. Uh, found out there was a, a, a New Yorker man. Uh, he was, uh, diagnosed with Asperger's Syndrome. His name is, uh, Darius McCollum. But, uh, he has been arrested over 30 times. And it's not for anything that you would think... But he has been arrested for impersonating transit employees and stealing buses and trains and Damn. just driving their routes. What? Like, yeah, not like, like oh, I'm going to steal this train and I'm going to steal this bus. I'm going to make good money off this. He's like, I'm just going to drive their bus route. Hey, I'm, I'm going to drive the train you. routes. I'm going <laughs> to pick up and I'm going to drop off passengers. The dude's been arrested 30 times for this. That's insane, dude. He has an asphyxiation for large transit. <laughs> <laughs> to get a job, <laughs> man. <laughs> At this point, I don't see like why don't they just why don't they just hire him? Yeah, right. Yeah. Him. He's probably thinking he's putting on like an audition. It's like once they see this route that I'm running, they're gonna hire me. <laughs> like, like <laughs> he figures like he's like man, twenty eighth time is the charm. <laughs> you think like when he drives the bus, then like oh, he's just a like is it? It's probably like a public bus. I'm thinking of a school bus. Oh my god, he would go to jail if he stole a school bus full of yeah. children, dude. Well, like, oh my the, god, the kids would be like thinking like, oh, it's a substitute bus driver, and then he's like, Are you ready, kids? <laughs> <laughs> All aboard! <laughs> you want me to go? Or are you going, Kyle? Okay, so I got two quick stories and then a little thing. So last night when I went to Walmart, I was walking by this guy, and he was on the phone. And the the thing that I heard him say was, yeah, before she, oh, she told me that before we met, she was a prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I kind of wanted to keep snooping, but I'm like, no, nah, I'll just leave it. I don't need to hear any more of that. And then uh, this morning when I went and did my laundry, this like, I'm just going to go ahead and say he, he's a tweaker for the story because I believe he was a tweaker. So we'll just say that he's a tweaker, but he comes in. And he's got this backpack and he starts talking to this lady and like apparently they know each other or something, but I'm like, okay, whatever these guys are talking, they're, one of them's obviously homeless, you know, the guy with the backpack. So I'm like, all right, well, I'll mess with my laundry and stuff. And I hear this power drill go off. I look over, this dude's got a power drill. He's got a crowbar. Um, he's like 
handing this girl something. He was either a drug deal or he sold like a cell phone or something. I don't know what was going on, but I was just like eyeballing this dude the whole time after that. I'm like, dude, I'm not letting this guy in my sight. Like it was one of those situations. Like this guy's got a crowbar. He's got a power drill. I don't know what else he's got in that bag, you know? Yeah. So it was sketchy, man. Uh, so I want, yeah, I wonder what the power drill's for. <laughs> yeah, it's like... <laughs> you Sell know, to a pawn shop, dude. Unscrewing stuff to get into your house and shit, probably. I've seen so many drug addicts like just like walk around like trying to look for power tools. Like It's crazy. Like They always look for power tools for some reason. Oh, uh, yeah. I, mean, I didn't e- know that was a money maker. They can use them and sell them, but I was just wondering like... If they were like, if he was selling a phone or buying a phone or dealing drugs or whatever, like, just all of a sudden has a power drill out. There's an exchange, yeah. Maybe she thought it was a gun. <laughs> you, you threatened her. You, Listen, give me, man. <laughs> give me your cash. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this is a bad one. Disturbing weed killer ingredient tied to cancer found in 80% of, ur- of U.S. urine samples. I guess the CDC study finds glyphosate, which is an ingredient in Roundup that uh, causes cancer. Apparently, they had 2,310 urine samples, and 1,885 were laced with the uh, detectable traces of that ingredient. And I guess it's mainly due to, like, pesticides and food and... You know, maybe, I don't know, maybe some water, I don't know, but mainly probably pesticides and stuff like that, so. Well, that's a bummer. You know. I should do that, like that, a test like that and maybe like five years later and find out if it's like getting worse and worse, you know. Right. If test the same real. people if they're still alive. Yeah. yeah. Or just like a new people and just like test the levels of it, you know, of the pests or whatever it is. Right. And then uh, see if it's like actually getting worse and worse, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. Who knows, maybe they might start doing more tests, but yeah, I just saw that. I'm like, oh, that's not good. Wow. I'm, I'm part of 20%. I ain't know that 80% nonsense. You know? Right, right, right. None of that. You're not going to be a statistic, Connor. No. Nope. Not today. Not me. Nope. Yo, dude, check this out. So traditional grass lawns are a new thing. You know how we have our lawns in front of our houses and stuff like that? Yeah. Um, that originated as a status symbol for the wealthy. So we used to not really have a use for lawns outside of food production and cattle, you know, and our, our farms and stuff like that. So we, it's, it's a pretty new thing for us to be able to have lawns. And I just think it's crazy. That traditional grass lawns originated as a status symbol for the wealthy. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. Like, uh, I've seen some pictures of houses with traditional lawns, and like, yeah, just everything is like there's no maintenance like done on the lawn, so it's all like a natural, almost forest. A lot of overgrowth and shit. Yeah, yeah. but it, I mean, all those ones that I've seen look good, but I have a feeling there's some out there that look just horrifying you know uh, yeah <laughs> some country bumpkin stuff you know yeah. my honkies <laughs> alright guys well, that's been another episode of Crashing with Friends hope you guys have a good rest of your week yeah who's got a word of wisdom for us before we leave um never trust an electrician with no eyebrows yeah if the rivers run red take the dirt road uh, not all who wander are lost. If you're out in the restroom and a dove comes on your windowsill, curtsy. Well, all right. Hope you guys have a good rest of your week, and we'll see you guys all next week. Bye. Later. Later. Bye. Crashing with friends. Oh.